Hi and welcome back to the Angry Cook. Uh, as you can see, I'm back in my kitchen finally uh, after about four months of uh, being away, visiting some exciting guest kitchens, having uh, a guest cook. Um, and as you saw on the web page, uh, I'm not my web page, on my uh, uh, Facebook page yesterday, I did a little bit of cooking once home. Once I got home, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> I thought I'd do a little update on that and post that today as a tip. Don't really have any cooking going on other than that, and I'm uh, probably may not even have one on Saturday. We'll see about that. Um, the first one's a sauerkraut, or the sauerkraut to be or not to be. That is the question. As you can see, let's get over here. I can see the screen and see what you can see. As you can see, the liquid yesterday was about to here. It's now up to here. Um, I've got a plastic bag full of brine on top, a freezer bag. Uh, it was bubbling nicely a little bit ago. I don't see any bubble bubble, toil and trouble right now. But um, there's a lot of air bubbles or uh, CO2 bubbles in there. Uh, I'm thinking three weeks maybe if this, uh, if this temperature keeps up uh, and we'll have crowdy kraut. I can't wait. The second thing is you saw me make stock. This is three chicken carcasses, one of which was our Sunday dinner. Um, <clears throat> three carrots, three celery, three garlic, a few sprigs of fresh thyme, and a sprig of fresh rosemary, which is all that's left of my, uh, of my uh, herb garden uh, that I planted in May that I had so much hope for, but I still have some thyme and rosemary, which is awesome. Uh, if your stock doesn't come out like this, like gelatin, then uh, you need to consider what you're doing. I'm not talking about broth, I'm talking about stock. Stock gets this way with an incredible mouthfeel, and this was absolutely delicious with those seasoning yesterday. Um, Ann and I both had a taste of it, and it's just got to be awesome. And I got something special for this this week, which may be Sunday or Saturdays, but uh, maybe not. Um, what I did this time, and watching several Japanese videos uh, for uh, ramen broth, uh, kind of brought this to light. If you're using chicken carcasses, or even ch fresh chicken, and they're not open to the marrow, open to marrow, cut them open, um, that's where all the goodness comes from. All the mouthfeel, all the collagen, or not all of it, but a lot of it. Uh, a lot of it comes from, some of it comes from the bone too. But this is how you get this which is absolutely scrumptious. Um, I just, uh, I, I, I'm so excited to eat, to uh, season, season this up a little bit and eat it. Uh, it just is going to be fantastic. I'm going to make uh, some kind of chicken soup with this, I think, too, in addition to what I'm going to have planned for the weekend, or Friday or whatever. Um, but uh, we're slowly getting back into gear, eating a lot of stuff I'd already frozen, some of my spaghetti sauce. Uh, but uh, we had some uh, fried onion chicken the other yesterday, last night, uh, along with some salad. And I'm uh, really excited to be home and able to cook again and cook the way I want to cook. Uh, so I hope you all uh, stick with me. Um, I'm hoping to get a blooper three out um, this week. Uh, we'll see about that too. Uh, I'm just kind of rearranging things. Uh, I've got to fix a couple of things around the mobile home. I've got to, uh, my washer blew out this morning, and I've got to fix that. i got two toilets that need fixing, and, uh, oh well, you know, life goes on. Little by little, um, I'll see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you would uh, to everything. Like all the videos you watch, please. It does make a difference. We'll see you later. Bye.